What's up, legends? It is Dave Fishy Repeat here, aka Kiwi Sung Nam Ja. We're with Joel and Dave number two, Fisho Davo. Uh, on his absolutely epic FC565 called Alimentus. Uh, we're doing slow pitch all day today. Dave and Joel are teaching me the ropes because I don't know anything about it. Yeah, we actually have a bloody epic day. Get quite quite a mixed bag of species uh, on the Ocean's Legacy slow pitch jig, so it's, it's a pretty good trip. Here's a few highlights of what's coming up. Oh, Joel's on already. Joel, you absolute JD slayer. Think long contact, 130. Oh, not big, good suez. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy. As long as I'm not too heavy for the trailer. But this is Fisho Davo's new boat. And we've been talking about going fishing together for goodness, I don't know, two, three years maybe. And it just hasn't ever worked out. So I drove up tonight late on a Saturday because we're going out at crack of dawn tomorrow. So got the Prado. I'm gonna sleep in that tonight on the lawn. And David Young is gonna show me how to slow pitch. Look forward to that. Everything about slow pitching. Everything about slow pitching. Except maybe I won't be able to do it, but It'll Apart from that, easy. we'll be sweet. How good is this? Cheeky sleep in the Prado. We will see you guys in the morning on the boat. What an absolute day, guys. Ripper of a day. Now, I'm just a bit of a noob, bit of a noob lord, so Joel and uh, Dave are going to show me what to do. See what happens. Well, while I'm faffing around and Dave's setting up, Joel's already in. <laughs> nice. Always good luck to release. Had a bolt. First one's gone. Cool, mate, so you're rigging up? Yeah, I've got nothing but mono there. Yeah. Three. Oh, Joel's on again. And what jig are you using? I don't know, man. What, what depth are we fishing in? We're in uh, 50 meters, so oh, yeah. you want me just to check the jig off me? Well, why don't you pick a long contact? Yeah. We've got rainbow. Now, Fisher, sure, Davo, and Joel actually took me through all the ins and outs of slow pitch jigging, including slow pitch techniques and which jig to use. I've made a separate tutorial video just on this. Make sure you check it out if you want to learn more. And then I want the hook to be on top and have free flow. Oh, tricky. But yeah, in terms of how I hold the rod, if you rest it for me. Yeah. yeah. And just take it easy. Like, you've got this full motion. You go up and down. As you want. When you go to fight the fish, you can tuck it back in. That would be Kazoo. Yeah. That was just like, just doing nothing, eh? Whoa. That was with basically no technique. <laughs> I was like, just the Woo. Oh, this is nice. That no, might be all right. Oh. 40 centimeters at least. Legal beagle. Happy days. Got a bit of tug to him. Yep. I've got a really sad confession, guys. Yeah, you're at 10 meters. My shoulder's sore already. <laughs> <laughs> That's how little I've done overhead fishing lately. Eh? Oh, not big, good suez. Oh, you beauty. Penny. Penny. Do you just slip the throat or go through the gills? I'll poke it in the back. Of just in the back over here, if you go up straight in. And up towards the spine, there are a lot of blood yeah. vessels over here. So when you pop that gill play over, you yeah. see over there, there's like a thin membrane. Oh, under there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Up towards the platform. Yeah. Thank you, Tangaroa. Thank you, Snapper. So you go slow pitching. Cheers, Joel. Oh, I said John. Yeah, I'm John. I was going to say, cheers, Joel. And then I went to say Dave. Joel. Cheers, guys. Cheers, Joel. Cheers, Joel. Oh. Hey. Woo. Oh, that was a wicked strike, man. Nice fish. Ooh. What call the fishing? Man, this rod is so parabolic. Joel, look at this. It's nice, man. Is that the long pole one? Yeah. Origin? Yep. Origin long pole. Nice. Can we get the net? 
Well guys, she's an absolute pearler of a day today. As you can see, we're just uh, slightly east of a little barrier. I think we're east. And we're gonna try and find a, gonna go to spot two. See when we get there. Oh yeah, a bit of sign there. Mm. 40 meters. Beautiful. We've got a shot drift over here. Yeah. Oh, there you go, we found it. Skipper Joel. It's the best. Better than all the rest. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You work for that one. It's not bad this one. Yeah. I love the sound of this reel, man. It's so smooth. Hi Brick. Shit. Oh, it. The drag was tight as. That was unfortunate. Getting excited. Snap, snap around today. On, boys. Wait, there we go. Fuck, man. Whoa. On, on, boys. Wait. Almost lost it again, too. <laughs> Do you guys get any John Dorries on slope pitch? Yeah. Right. Yeah, you get them. Oh. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. What the fuck? Mm. I know. Well, something's wrong with my retrieval. Dropping two fish is not ideal. And then after a few ah. tries, I finally started having some luck. Yep. Okay. Nice. Yep, I'm on. Alright, let's try this time. Take two. And with a few fish now under my belt, I was a lot more confident and started to really understand just how effective slow pitch is. Well, we're on again, guys. Hopefully, I don't lose this one. I have to delete the footage, but it's like fishing in a barrel out here. It's crazy. Ocean's legacy, eh? Yep. Doing the damage, that's for sure. That Poseidon reel I'm in love with, like I love it. For the I price, like Poseidon. Yeah, for the price it was, it's amazing. Okay, you look for yourself. This one, or the mini. The 200 mini, yeah. Right. So we're going to set up the old Minn Kota. Using spot lock. Hoping to keep us uh, pretty much right on the sign and then Hopefully. allow us to drift straight over it. Yeah, for the spot lock. Beautiful. That's sick. Uh, so just GPS coordinate locks, eh? Yeah, there's a thing at the back as well. So that's what basically it's got to work out at the What? So like determines what way we're drifting with the current? Yeah, well it knows we're drifting south. So now it's going to point it forward. No, this is the front of it. This is the back. That's so loose. And if you watch the map, it's just going to hold you in the same spot the whole time. Yeah, it is. Same one. Oh, oh, oh. What? Oh, Remember what you were asking? Oh! Yeah. Get the knees! Check him out. Nice, man. One of the JDs. Nice that JD. is a beautiful bycatch. Can't um, get any better than that. And Dave was just asking in the AM if they catch John Dory's, eh? Wow, oh, yeah. Get the net. Holy! I don't know. Oh, absolute JD Slayer. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, guys. Uh, it's done another spot. We've still got quite a few hours to go in this absolute pearl of a day. It's an interim. We've had a lot of snacks here. We've got chicken, chips, everything under the sun. 
and just in the middle of the video so you don't bloody tick off at the end if you haven't subscribed or liked yet on this video please be a legend and do that and turn on notifications if you're feeling generous let's go Joel was being quiet and he bloody pulled up this that's a real good species addition and you've got the multi-species angle today I'm gonna try a little pink pink long contact 130 so here we go 15 miles yeah. I'm really hoping this is a gurnard I left it sitting on the bottom but it looks like a snapper Damn, it's only just hooked. Joel's an absolute slay city today. Significantly outfished the rest of us. Something's having a real big play with my line, eh? What was it? Golden oh, golden snapper! Fire out, we had a few bycatchers today. Nah. Yeah, man, it's such nice eating. Yeah, boy! A bit of weight to this one. A bit of weight. Feels a bit different though. Yeah, it's got a snapper maybe. You have your side job? I don't know what's going on. Oh, bloody hell, I almost lost it. Oh, it is a golden red snapper. That's a big one. Nice one. <laughs> Thought it was fighting a bit different. Check that out, guys. How oh, good. We're on a golden snapper. We're on a bloody golden snapper reef. How good is that? Woo! Oh well, we're just gonna wind up, go back to where we were just before. We were getting some Johnnies and, and, and the old golden snappers. Dave's just re icing all the fish there. Jaws on the helm. Let's uh, see what happens. But yeah, we're starting to get quite a good, good healthy uh, bin of food and not just the snappers, which is ideal. Good mixed bag. So we'll, we'll carry on. There's not a breath of wind on the water today. It's an absolute glass off. Uh, it's just a, one of those perfect fishing days, to be perfectly honest. Absolutely beautiful. So we're just gonna head just above where we first started in this area. A little 50 meter rise. Let's see if anything pops up. We're still collecting a few a few morsels, so yeah, she's probably not bad. Not bad at all. This is our final spot. Alright guys, possibly find a spot, but uh, we'll see what happens. Let's get up. That's it for today guys, what an epic session, it's just gone half past 12 uh, on Sunday, so yeah we're going to call it early, massive thanks to Davo, for show Davo the legend. Thanks for taking me out on your FC 560 Alimentus. Welcome. And um, Joel cheers as well dude. You're welcome. Yeah we'll probably uh, steam back in and then, and then see you, and then see you at the, uh, at the kitchen. I can't move on till I let go
Hey guys, we are back in the kitchen. It's uh, Monday afternoon and I'm shattered because I had to go to work after that huge fishing mission yesterday. Got a bit of a treat for you today. We are gonna make sweet and sour fish. With a recipe from Joel who I actually went fishing with yesterday. Let's go. Now, if we look at the fish, they've still got their scales on them. Uh, my wife, Jenny, she's actually uh, away at the team. She's staying with her sister. Oh, she's over from Oz. So, I'm gonna try something a little bit different tonight. I've talked to the boys, Joel and Dave, and they all think it's a cracking idea. Uh, we're gonna try and remove the scales with the water blaster. Try and do it as clean as I can, but if, yeah, it gets messy. Sorry, Harden, you didn't know about this. Safety first. So my plan was just attach this to the back fence, use the hook to secure it. So fishing 101, some 80 pound trees and a uni knot. And then yeah, we'll just blast that. Well, uh, that works surprisingly well. Absolutely stripped it, damaged a little bit of fish there. But other than that, she's a U-butte. Do the other side and do the heads. Alright guys, we're back in the kitchen. Uh, <laughs> we've water blasted the fish, it's time to stop faffing around. And dry this off. Joel said it's absolutely critical you get this nice and dry before putting in the oil, probably to stop spitting and splashing as well. And to absorb that all, we're going to put some cuts in here with the old uh, victory knife. Slap it in a wok, that's, and uh, yeah, get this going, let's go. The old uh, water blaster did a really good job, like it, it really skinned it, eh? Now Joel said you do a crisscross cut right down to the bone. Oh, that's looking tasty already. Do the same on the other side and then we'll, we'll powder this down. So Joel reckons a uh, one-to-one -one or 50-50 mix of uh, cornstarch, if you don't have that, I've got potato starch. And uh, the old regular plain flour. Just rub that right in there. Get it right up in it. You'll see the liberal amount of salt. Absolutely beautiful. Start our stir fry there. Put the onions on. Get rid of the other veggies. The stir fry. Then put the sweet and sour sauce over. Pour it over the fish. So plenty of heat. We've got a fresh chili in there. Just a whole bunch of veggies. Mainly fresh, but I was also feeling a bit lazy and watching frozen. He's hoping. <laughs> I'm getting hungry. I'm getting flippin' hungry. Let's have a little look down, guys. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful. Absolutely bloody marvellous. So just the head now. Alrighty, now uh, Joel reckons if you want hot, sweet and sour, you go uh, 9 to 1 ratio of sauce to uh, hot chilli. If you want hot, 8 to 2. Just going to wing it with quite a lot of sauce and equivalent heat of uh, chili. I'm excited. I'm so excited. Well deserved beer, I tell you what. Alright, let's dig in. Oh, that's beautiful. It's sweet, a little bit sour, quite spicy. I had a lot of chili sauce. Absolutely delicious. I'm gonna continue eating this. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, if you like what you see and you haven't subbed already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications if you're feeling generous, and I hope you're looking forward to a lot more Catching Cooks.